What's up everyone, Steven here with Neural DSP, and today I wanna to change up the Minute Mix Monday a little bit. Instead of dialing in tones, what I wanna use this segment for now is giving out little tips and bits of knowledge that are gonna help you in your day-to-day -day working with audio. I'm keeping the minute timer, however, because I wanna make this into a quick segment that's hyper-focused on one aspect of audio. And there's almost a certainty that I'm gonna be going over time on most of my videos, but I wanna use that to push myself into making this as short and sweet for you guys as possible. That being said, Let's put 60 seconds on the clock and get into EQing some guitars. The best way that I've found to zero in on these problem areas is you wanna to listen to the guitars, you wanna pick out those frequencies that are bothering you, pull up a narrow band EQ and hunt for those frequencies. Once you've found the offending frequency, then you dip it out with your EQ band, then turn it on and off just to compare and make sure that you're not cutting too much out of your tone. Lastly, compare it in the mix. I can't stress how important it is to make sure that your EQ moves are matching up with what you want to have happen in the mix. The most common problem areas I've found mixing guitars will be around the bass, low mids, and presence area. So let's start dialing in some basic EQ moves just to cut the areas that are problematic to us. So once we get our problem areas fixed, then we can consider going to our additional EQs to sweeten our tone. One of the most common plugins that I generally find that people use on guitars is the SSL channel strip. More often than not, what people do is they leave this high frequency at eight kilohertz, and then they just bump that up a couple of dB. And that sounds pretty good. I'm gonna bypass that. My general go-to for a lot of these plugins has been the Shep's Omni channel though. And I'll grab this high shelf and pull it back to about two or three K and then start boosting.
basically I just want to bring a little bit of presence without making the guitars too scratchy. So let's go ahead and do some comparative before and after. So the Pro Q3 is taking out frequencies I don't like and the Shep's Omni channel is adding a little bit of high end. So let's listen to the difference. So you can hear with just a few simple moves how I was able to make those guitars sit so much better in the mix. The snare pops through because those mid-range frequencies aren't clashing anymore. The guitars sound nice and aggressive, but they're not overpowering anything else in the mix. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that bell icon for notifications on when we upload videos. Comment down below and let me know if you like this content and if there's a subject that you want me to dive into on the next Minute Mix Monday. As always, I'll see you in the next video.